Well, um, today is um, 17th of October 2020, and this is just a little opinion piece, let's say. Uh, a lot of controversy, in a sense, in the transport field. Uh, people uh, uh, think that the, uh, the guided, uh, tr the guided uh, trackless tram that I've illustrated, and is, is the, it is available in a number of places in the world, actually Paris Line 5 is one of them you can look up. There are a couple of other places that have it, and uh, I believe it is uh, future transport. I'm very much in favour of trams, light rail, all that sort of thing. Uh, absolutely. Uh, but there is a tremendous advantage to this guided trackless tram. It runs on 750 volt overhead wire, like a like regular light rail. It has pantographs. There's five car. You can have three, but you can have five car trams. That would be the typical configuration. Uh, smooth, quiet, and efficient, and uh, frequent, and all the rest of it. So, the major advantage is in construction cost of construction would be far lower than a conventional light rail and for those who poo hoo it and say oh it's only a bus it's a guided bus it's not a guided bus I know it could be described as that and I saw one and I and my friend Nick Kelly and I agree with this we saw it under the heading uh, guided trolley bus well it's not a trolley bus but I guess you could say it's sort of like a hybrid vehicle. So uh, I, uh, I've seen online on YouTube support for this type of system in Perth in Western Australia. And I'd like to see it built there and I'd like to see it built in other cities. I could visualise it being built in Sydney, and Melbourne, Brisbane and other places. Definitely uh, room for it in Brisbane, the current thing they're calling the Metro are electric buses that are double articulated, double ended vehicles and they're designed to be five cars which is all very well, I, I applaud that, that's a good starting point but uh, the guidance system also can be little tags in the street uh, quite, quite uh, uh, more efficient, cost effective um, not ugly in the sense like the O-Barn in Adelaide is a very interesting system but it's an old one it's not in a, a 70s type technology it's 1980s built um, it can be more efficient too by the way the O-Barn could have easily had four or five, five car uh, type of trains that could run over the O-Barn but they'd be limited to just the O-Barn itself and with guided buses continuing on to places like Elizabeth and other destinations in Adelaide. So the Oban system can be improved and has been improved and I'm going to be looking at that in January all being well. Uh, there's going to be, well there has been a, a, an extension into the, closer into the city, right into the centre of Adelaide, which is all very good. So uh, returning though to this guided um, trackless tram I believe that is the, uh, the the future let's say and I don't care whether people criticize me or criticize other people or criticize the systems or say ah there's only a bus it's not a bus and as I said about this metro in Brisbane it's not a bus yes I initially criticized it for saying oh it's only a bus it's only a, you know it'll be a diesel bus it's a double articulated it's not it's going to be double articulated double ended metro rubber tired and i guess well electric and and i guess guided i'm not sure how they're going to guide it whether it's the tags in the street we'll wait and see because that's going to open in 2023 and also the cross river rail by the way for those who are interested is going to be opening i think in 2024 that's going to be quite a major improvement. That's getting off the subject so a, a little bit, but 
you're getting what I'm saying here, that this is going to be the future. I'm standing by that view. I believe it's correct. Uh, I welcome civil and polite comments or and uh, um, debate, as it were, on the issue. I don't mind it at all. I'm a transport enthusiast, and I do mean that as trains, trams, buses, ferries, to a limited degree, planes, and any funiculars, or, or cliff railways, as they call them in Britain, and so on. All of that type of thing interests me. You know, everything from narrow gauge to broad gauge to standard gauge or anything at all. And this guided busway thing, I'm looking forward to seeing that at some point. Um, but no plans at the moment to go overseas to ride it, but uh, I'm expecting it to develop in Australia. And as I was saying to my friend in England, uh, <coughs> Nick Kelly, I expect Britain one day will have something like this as well. And I look forward to that time. So there's my viewpoint on the subject, guys. So thanks for viewing.